Rudy's rant and time for me to lose my fucking mind. Jamal Murray, bro. Oh, no. I know I talked about it a second ago, and this is just part one because there's actually uh, three parts to this. And I want your response, actually. Jamal Murray's throwing shit on the court, gets a fine of $100,000. The man makes $50 million a year. He could have injured somebody. Something bad could have happened. We throw fans out of the building for throwing shit on the floor. How in the world do we have a lower standard from the players on the bench? What is going on that he can do that, not even get so much as a technical foul called on him in the game, not ejected from the game? He should have been ejected. Not a technical, he should have been ejected. And I don't want to hear, oh, he doesn't have a history of doing bad shit. I don't care. I do not care. Because if someone had rolled their ankle and gotten badly hurt that and from the – Primarily from Minnesota, because if it happened in Denver, he'd have to answer that in his own locker room. But if it happened to someone from Minnesota, like like Ant or Cat or one of them big time dudes, obviously Gobert wasn't there to get hurt. So you know he's the biggest time of them all. I'm kidding. Um, but if one of those big time dudes gets hurt, that drastically, dramatically Im impacts that series and the chances for the T Wolves to win a championship. I think it's despicable. It disgusts me. And I don't care if he held, if he's holding himself accountable now. I don't give a fuck. Did he hold himself accountable when he did it? No, he did not. He hid. He threw a towel that actually went right at the feet of a referee on the baseline. And then he threw the freaking heat pad, which ended up in the freaking key of the, of the game. And it was hit. Luckily, no one got hurt. But we're sitting here uh, uh, accepting this. This is a problem that I have with Adam Silver as a commissioner. He's an absolute fucking pussy of a commissioner. God damn. Kisses players' asses. Oh, Lord. David Stern would have suspended him absolutely for at least a game. I think she's suspended for the duration of the series. God I don't damn. even care anymore. What's wrong? That's, I'm just saying, you're harsh. I think he should be suspended for the series. If Draymond Green did that, he'd be out for the remainder of the playoffs. But Draymond has a history. But That's again, why. I don't care he about would, history he, he because would, this is about he, injuring no, somebody. But Draymond would get suspended because of his history, not because he did well, it on the first time. I, 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 again... No, you should be suspended on the first time. You're throwing something on the court. I'm, I'm just saying, that's why Draymond would be suspended for the series, though. What's, not... what's, what's the next thing? Let me take that same bag and throw it high in the air and hit someone in the head with it on the court. Like, what are we talking about? If a fan can be ejected after paying money to be in the building, well, you know what? Next game I go to, I want to throw shit at players from the team. Because you know what? I'm pissed off that we're losing because he can't win home games. So I'm going to throw shit at, this, at Jason Tatum's head and say, well, Jamal Murray did it in a game, so why the fuck are you, throwing, why are you throwing me out? I'm sorry, why are you arresting me for this? Because you should be arrested for that. That's a crime. If he had hit someone in the head with this shit, he could go to jail for it. It's not part of the game. And I'm not saying you should arrest him, but if I did it in the stands, I'm getting locked up. You're getting locked up. Like, we're not going to leave the arena free of handcuffs. And it's really frustrating because this MB the NBA does this nonsense with these players and they preach all this safety. Your player created as unsafe a possible environment as, is, as there is because he was getting his ass torched for no other reason other than he was frustrated. I was frustrated coaching an AAU team, slam a pedal on the ground, it snaps in half, and it skids out to midcourt, and I get a technical foul, and the referee looks at me like, what the fuck are you doing? He's getting locked I said, up. He's getting locked huh? up. Sim he's simply getting locked up. Akon, locked up. Won't oh, let by, me the, out. By, by the T Wolves. Like Akon, locked up. Yeah. Won't let me out. But he he yeah. really need to be on his T Grizzly stuff and be on his first day out because he got to get out of jail because it's been locked up the whole series. So he has to get out that shit out of his fucking mind, figure out a way. I know his calf is bothering him, but you weren't. It wasn't bothering you when you were hitting the game winners against the Lakers. And well, he, also, he had Austin Reeves guarding him. Yeah. And Anthony Davis playing six feet away from him. <laughs> like, well, he, couldn't, he couldn't move his feet fast enough like that to, to get I, to him. I, I, I tell you what, I think that the T-Wolves should, should uh, have receipts. And as soon as they can, they should. I don't know. No, they can't. Go, go 1990s basketball. And mistakenly, you know, by accident, land a fucking knee to the back of his calf. Wow. Or... Karate chop his ass? Wow. I, 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 how else do you deal with shit anymore now? At least in hockey, you get to watch these guys kick the shit at each other. Boston was down 4-1. Start a brawl. 
The Panthers score again. It's 5-1. They start another brawl. Panthers score again. 6-1. Another brawl. These were three brawls inside of the last 12 minutes of the game. They deal with it themselves. They deal with it. Let's go back to the days where Robert Parrish can freaking karate chop Bill Lambeer and not even get a technical foul call on him and keep playing. Let's go back to that because Mm -hmm. Jamal Murray deserves a receipt. He deserves a receipt. And what he did was as dirty as it – if that happened in a high school game, Nick, what happens? You don't play in the rest of your career. You're done. I mean, you're, 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 you're your your season in high school is over. Yeah, but it's it, over. But what else might happen? There might be a brawl. Yeah, from fans it, coming up. From fans but, because but, they have access to the court. Yeah, they don't have the security. Like, that they don't. The have security's anymore. not there. If that happened in a high school game, there's a brawl, and that kid who did that is not playing the rest of the season. And it doesn't matter if it's you, Peacock. <clears throat> Marcus Allen this year, any one of the stars from Northern High School or Cooper Flag from Montverde, they're not playing again. But we're allowing a guy to get a hundred thousand dollar fine, bro. He should have been fined ten million dollars if you're not going to suspend him. God damn. It sounds fucked up, but he makes fifty million. God damn, Rudy. James Harden spends a hundred k at the strip club in a night. Come on. Man. All right. That's part one. Okay. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.